peace and prosperity. Who is it that calls? Can you so stead me as bring me to the ear of Isabella, a novice of that place, and the fair sister to her unhappy brother, Claudio? Why her unhappy brother? Let me ask. The rather for I now shall make you know. I am that Isabella and his sister. Gentle and fair. Your brother kindly greets you. Not to be weary with you, he's in prison. Why me? What for? For that which of myself might be his judge, he shall receive his punishment in thanks. He hath got his friend with child. Someone with child by him? My cousin, Juliet. Is she your cousin? Adoptably, a schoolmate's changed their names by vain though apt affection. Is she? It is. Well? Let him marry her. This is the point. The Duke is very strangely gone from hence. For many gentlemen, myself being one in hand and hope of action, but we do learn by those that know the very nerves of state. He is giving his harbour of an infinite distance from his true men design. Upon his place, and with full line of his authority, governs Lord Angelo, a man whose blood is very snow broth, one who never feels the wanton stings and motions of the sense. Doth he so seek his life? Had censured him already. And as I hear, the provost hath a warrant for his execution. Alas, what poor ability in me to do him good. A saver power you have. My power, alas, I doubt. Our doubts are traitors, and make us lose the good we oft might win by fearing to attempt. Go to Lord Angelo, and let him learn to know when maidens sue, men give like gods. But when they weep and kneel, all their petitions are as freely theirs as they themselves would owe them. I'll see what I can do. But speedily. <laughs>